Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and today I want to encourage you to draw near to God. You know, there's a wonderful scripture found in James where it simply says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Now, when we draw near to God, what that means is simply this, that we make a decision that we're going to allow the Lord to interact in our lives. Now, that is both a volitional and intellectual decision. Volitional because it's an act of the will. And it is an intellectual decision because we've come into some information and also some knowledge that God wants to interact in our lives. And that's what we want. We want God to interact in our lives. We want God to be a part of our life situation. So can I take a moment and pray for you? So Father, today we're praying that as we hear this information today, as we've come into the knowledge that you want to draw near to us, Lord, we're going to make a decision, a volitional decision right now that we're going to say, by an act of the will, I choose today to invite the Lord into my life situation. This is my decision. I understand that. And I understand that I am responding to the God of heaven, the God who cares about what's going on in my life. And Father, I'm also making a volitional decision because I have come into this knowledge that I can't do this by myself. I've been trying for the last little while to direct my life. Lord, I have this wonderful little plaque on my uh, in my office, and it goes like this. Don't bother me right now. I am the captain in this ocean of confusion. Well, Lord, we know that uh, you provided, especially, this is kind of cool, Lord, how that in the ancient times, the mariners, the navigators, would use the stars and the natural phenomenon that is absolutely constant to be able to direct their lives and to take them across ocean expanses. Of course, today we have satellites and GPSs and all those things that we have today that, uh, you know, monitor our lives and direct our lives. And Lord, what we want to do is we want to stay in the consistency of you. When I was a kid, my uh, dad and I were looking up at the Northern Stars. And uh, he said, you see that over there? That's the Big Dipper. And I thought, oh, okay. I kind of saw it. And he said, you see that one star there? That's the Northern Star. And that is consistent, always here in the Northern Hemisphere. You can know that that's always north. And I thought, that is so cool. There were many times when I was living in the community of uh, Widewater outside of Slave Lake. And during the summertime, uh, we, of course, living out in the country, had a dark space. And you just had to get a few, about 100 feet away from our house. And we were able to see the, um, the, the stars so beautifully. And, and many, many times I would remember that which my dad, my dad taught me. And I, I talked to my sons in the same way. I said, my dad showed me this. And I said, you can always know that when you look at that particular star, that is true north. And I thought, yeah, that's kind of cool. Lord, that's what the Bible is for us today. The Bible today is that consistency. And Lord, we need that today. So Lord, give us that consistency, that constancy. Give us that, Lord, direction that we need today. I, I know that we're dealing with constant messages, Lord, from every area, educationally, socially, politically, you know, economically, Lord, culturally. Father, we're being bombarded by the lies of the enemy. But what we're going to do today, Lord, is we're not going to believe the lies of the enemy. We're not going to allow him to uh, distract us. Jesus was a perfect example. When he was in the temptation in the wilderness, he basically said, the word of God says. Now, the enemy tried to, you know, pervert the word of God. But Jesus, because he knew the word, was not going to fall into that temptation. 
And so, Lord, today, we want to center our lives on the Word of God. And we want to center our lives, Lord, on what you have to say today. Not what we have to say, but what you have to say. And Lord, through prayer, we're going to simply express that desire. Father, today, I may not understand all the things that are going on in my life or in my world. I can't understand why, you know, things happen the way they do. But there's one thing that I'm going to put my trust in today. And as I pray today, Father, thank you for the Word of God. And thank you for the consistency of that word today. That's what we're standing on today. That's what we need in this moment. And I want to thank you, Lord, for all of these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.